I'm Kristen Rice. I'm the founder and executive director of Color Me Empowered. We are a visual arts organization. Uh, our focus is on visual arts education and public art. Our geographical focus is Oak Cliff, but we work in all of DFW. Um, we do public art, mostly created by kids, but not entirely. Um, murals, mosaics, things like that. And then we try to bring high quality visual arts programming to communities who don't have equitable access to it. At the beginning of 2020, maybe we should have all seen this coming, but we didn't. We had a full and very exciting calendar plan. We were stoked. This was um, a lot of things were slated to happen in 2020. Our first National Endowment on the Arts grant, um, and just a really exciting year. So in March, um, when things shut down and we saw the tidal wave coming, we came up with these art kits and we have um, a wonderful art teacher on board. Her name is Jess Jensen and she wrote all our summer curriculum, watercolor, ceramics, um, we did uh, ceramic glazing, we did portrait drawing, we did still a full summer schedule, but the way we did it, instead of having kids in our studio, was we brought the studio to them. So everything that they needed for the entire week, we would put in a box in an art kit, and we'd also include written curriculum in that art kit. So they could log on and do art with us. We had 300 art kits provided by Allstate. This is one of Allstate's art kits. Um, a very generous donation by their foundation. We're so thankful for them. Um, this has just made such a huge impact on our community. But real quickly, I mean, even I get excited about opening this art kit. So what we have inside are markers, color pencils, crayons, we have watercolors, we have the good drawing pencils, we have um, Sharpies, fine and extra fine, and paintbrushes, a really, really good pencil sharpener, scissors, um, did I say glue already? We have a sketchbook that's multimedia so that they can do whatever they want on it. And also there's a package of construction paper in here. And so within this art kit, there are things that they can, um, you know, limitless what they can do. And most of the kids that are coming to get these art kits don't have any of this stuff at home. Our work is made possible by amazing organizations. North Texas Giving Day through the Communities Foundation of Texas. It was through the Communities Foundation of Texas that we were matched with Allstate and also the Gianna Foundation, who is uh, a recent supporter of ours, but has made possible some really, really good and important work, like the art kits and our, and our summer programming as well. Um, the Texas Commission on the Arts, the Dallas Office of Arts and Culture, the National Endowment on the Arts, Ken Womack and the entire team at MindHandle for all of the assets and rebranding. Our rebranding is wonderful, we love it. And Madri PLLC for being the title sponsor for our annual iHeart Art event. The delicious, amazing food that was has been provided to us through Sunflower Catering. A gigantic thank you to FG3 Fine Art Productions and Andrea Lammersode Marketing and Fine Arts. Uh, without those guys, we are not able to accomplish anything. Big shout out to our board president, Andrea Lammersode, Bree Wonderly, and Daniel Gunn, our newest board member, but who's already made a huge impact. We'd also like to thank uh, Keandra, my assistant, because I need her like the desert needs the rain. One of the artists that has been active with us throughout this entire pandemic is Alec De Jesus, who's contributed to our YouTube channel and is always ready and willing to help us out with any project that comes along, and we're so thankful. But especially my parents, um, they have instilled in me a really can-do spirit. He never told me that I couldn't accomplish something or that I couldn't do something. In fact, they've always encouraged whatever insane idea I've come up with, including <laughs> an idea for a nonprofit that is focused entirely on the visual arts. So
We're looking forward to 2021. We've got an exciting calendar of events already planned. We've pushed our first event all the way back to May just to be on the safe side. We hope that things will be at least relatively normal by then. Our first event will be our annual I Heart Art Fundraiser. It's going to be May 20th, that's a Thursday. Our next event will be the Five Squared event that we were going to have this year but had to cancel altogether. That's going to be July 17th. That's gonna be a Saturday. So mark that one on your calendars. We're really excited about that one. And then our last event of the year will be West Side Stories, which is usually our first event of the year, but we've flipped it around. So hopefully we can get all of these events in and see everybody's face. West Side Stories is going to be Saturday, October 16th. We're very excited about 2021 and we feel like we're gonna be stronger than ever.